Well, 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 another vlog on the channel. Who would have thought? I really did not think that I was going to be so consecutive with these vlogs. I mean, each month we've been putting out a vlog and it really means a lot to me that you guys have been watching. Again, welcome. My name is Unreal Gaming. I'm a real person. I am not holographic. I'm not CGI. A few people actually said, man, I can't believe that that's what you look like. Well, if this is the first time you guys are looking at me, well, hello, I'm a real person. Uh, so either way, guys, Welcome back to another awesome vlog. If you guys have missed out some of the previous vlogs on the channel, those links will be located down below. And it really does mean a lot to me that you guys watch these things. So hopefully enough, you guys will watch throughout the entire vlog here today because of course it's November. I can't believe that it's November. It just feels like yesterday that we started vlogging back in July. So of course we have a lot going on. We have Thanksgiving, we have the holidays, Black Friday, hopefully. I'll be able to show you guys what's going on during Black Friday in New York because it gets crazy. Um, we have the KSI Logan Paul fight coming out, I think, next week because it's November 2nd currently as of this recording. So lots of things going on. I want to welcome you all back once again. Of course, if you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Give this video a big thumbs up if you guys want to see more vlogs like this because it really does motivate me that you guys just care about these things because I don't have the most like extravagant life. I'm not on jets or like in the most, you know, fabulous cars driving around in a Bugatti. I don't really do that kind of stuff. I'm very basic, all right? Workouts, Dragon Ball, wrestling, that's just it. It, it, it is what it is. It doesn't get any more, you know, simple than that. So right now, however, I got a few things to do. Uh, I'm gonna be going to the gym. I have to shred a little bit of the bubbly, a little too much of the bubbly. Gotta get rid of that. Um, and with that being said, I hope you guys join me uh, throughout this entire video because I'm gonna show you guys some behind the scenes stuff. I'm uh, gonna be talking about certain things and wrestling, all that kind of good stuff, Dragon Ball, anime, whatever. Uh, and with that being said, come along with me and uh, join me for the ride. Much, much, much later. Now I know what you might be asking yourselves, Alex, what the heck is this? This is actually a small preview, a sneak peek to one of my videos that I have dropping in December, which in fact actually has Vegeta and his father, King Vegeta, a story that I think is really going to break your hearts, but I think that it's going to be very inspiring to anyone out there who wondered or had always wondered what it would be like to have Vegeta reunite with his father. So that fan manga is going to be dropping on my channel in December. So I highly, I highly suggest for you guys to be on the lookout for that. But on top of that, in January, this is what I have planned for you guys as well. This is Super Saiyan God Future Trunks and this is Moro. Now you might be asking what this is. This is a very in-depth discussion on what things would actually be like if Trunks encountered Moro in his timeline. So we have some dope things coming on the channel. This video is going to be dropping in January of next year, which I'm excited for you guys to see. But more content like this, I think, is being worked on and going to be worked on for you guys in the future because I'm telling you all right now, I'm going into 2020 with a banger and I'm going in there with the mindset to conquer, and these examples are just one of many. 15 minutes later. Many hours later. So as I'm walking home, I can't help but think to myself how quickly the year just came and went, right? We're just about to enter 2020 and there's so many things. There are so many goals and so many things that I would like to accomplish in 2020. Um, goals that I really haven't met this year that I hope to complete next year. But in the comment section below, I want to know from you guys uh, some of your aspirations, some of your goals, or some of the things you guys want to achieve going into the new year. and throughout the rest of 2020 because for me, for the channel, for the social media platforms, for my health, 
have so much that I want to achieve and this year was rough man with the shoulder surgery and the wrestling stuff and the YouTube stuff drama here drama there it was crazy but I learned a lot and I think more importantly I grew as a person and I think that's what matters most but in the comment section below I want to know uh, what some of your goals are for 2020 and how exactly you guys want to go by accomplishing them if you want to accomplish them by next year and how you plan on going about that later in the void it is so cold outside i literally can't feel my balls it's that bad two weeks later so the ksi versus logan paul fight is just about to begin i just got done watching haney versus santiago and another fight in which i have no idea what just happened i think the guy got disqualified for being reckless but that was a really entertaining bout i will say but uh, just looking at what KSI and Logan Paul are going to be bringing to the boxing world is insane, right? Now, whether or not you like KSI or you hate KSI or you love Logan Paul or you hate Logan Paul, I feel as if their fighting attributes and their skills and techniques should not be overlooked. I see a lot of people overlooking them. For me, I just want to be entertained. It's crazy to see how two YouTubers are literally changing the game. This is the era of social media and whether or not people want to accept it or not, it's the truth, right? People with such a following like that have such influence to do essentially anything and revolutionize anything they step into, whether that be music or sports or whatever the case may be, right? So for me, I really do think that if Logan Paul is able to shape up and correct his conditioning versus how he was last year, then KSI is in trouble. If Logan Paul gasses out, it's done. And the crowd goes wild for KSI and Logan Paul. I'm not gonna lie. If I was out there right now, I would have goosebumps because I know what it's like to be on stage like that. I know what it's like to be out there in front of a crowd and perform. And let me tell you, the nerves, the chills you get, the goosebumps, the excitement. I can't imagine the anxiety levels though, but here we go. Let's see what's, uh, what's about to come from this fight. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know what KSI just did. He just swung overhead. Like, that was the most ridiculous punch I've ever seen. And we're only about, like, 30 seconds into the fight. Like, what was that? Like, why is KSI throwing overheads? Like, what are you doing, man? Damn. Okay. Let's see. This is a dog fight, man. These two are, like, hounding each other. Okay. All right. I I'm really, I'm really curious to see how this is going to go. Logan's actually getting some shots in. KSI looks like he's going more for the body, though, but... Logan's really going for the head, so I don't know. This is very interesting. If if KSI can knock down Logan with some body shots, that's going to be different. As well as Logan knocking out KSI, like just straight head shots left and right. So let's see. All right, so I noticed one thing that the commentators are saying, and that's the fact that Logan is actually breathing through his mouth. So if he's already gassed in the first round, then what are you doing, my guy? Like you're coming in at 199 pounds thinking that, you're gonna do a lot better and not gas yourself out versus how you were when you were 170. So, ooh, all right, KSI got a really good hit in. Yo, I just wanna get in that freaking ring, man, and fight these dudes. I mean, KSI, KSI, he's like, he's throwing some wild punches though, but Logan's like locking him in like this headlock. I don't like that. Like, why are you, why are you clinching him like underneath? Like, what is this? Like, you about to give him a suplex or something? All right, we're closing out the first round and I think KSI is gassing himself out. They're slugging it. Ooh, they're slugging it out. You can see KSI, he's like, <gasps> he's like, he's breathing. Like, he's breathing kind of heavy, but damn, the fans are going crazy. I, I'm not gonna lie, this is, um, this is good. I mean, props goes out to both of them for, you know, sticking to the plan here. And the plan being putting that hard work and then just putting those gloves on and throwing them hands. I mean, like I said, I mean, KSI looks like, like I mean, for the first round at least, he was going for the body. And Logan was going for the head, so either I mean you can go either way, man. You can go on your on your back or on your face. It's like it's more or less like choosing how you want to go out. But KSI, he's in the corner right now. He's breathing heavy, and that's that's always that's, that's not a good sign, man. Ooh, even the commentators are pointing it out. KSI's mouth is just hanging there, and it's round three, a minute and fifty-five, and this dude's mouth is like, Ugh! so it's like ah, he's. They're tired. They're tired. These dudes are tired. I mean, I, I'm 203 pounds, so like, you know, I, I would know I'm, I'm that size. Um, cardio is a bitch, man. Cardio is a big thing. So like, I can't imagine just being in there going for like, you know, three rounds in and swinging wildly. But oh, 
Did he knock him down? I don't know what just happened. I think it was the back of the head. I think it was a shot to the back of the head. I have no idea what's going on. I just saw Logan on the ground. He's like, Ugh. even the commentators are pointing out that I think it was a it was a behind the head shot. I think Logan's pissed now. Oh, KSI is coming in there, man. I don't know. He kind of jeered him on that one. Yeah, but there's a lot of these punches are just like, like you swing wildly and. Like, I, I guess, like, you can connect behind someone's head. I don't know. It's crazy. This has to end in a knockout. This has to end in a knockout, like, right now. Somebody's got to knock somebody out. Oh, here we go. Oh, boy. And there's uh, 37 seconds remaining for the fourth. Oh, crap. Goku, son. Activate me, Gatino. <laughs> I would. <laughs> I'm like, what? I lost two points? No, start swinging as much as I can, man. Damn, damn. This is interesting. All right, we got almost, almost coming, coming on 10 seconds. Is it? Is it? There it goes. Yep. Me got Dano. Goku. All right, so we're about to find out who's gonna win this fight, and I have that feeling it might be a draw, but because of those two points that Logan lost. Oh, we're about to find out what's about to happen. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Holy crap! Holy crap! Holy crap! Holy crap! Wow! 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 Oh, oh! Oh my god! The next morning. Semester later. Seven and a half miles in under 25 minutes done. I got my protein shake about 60 grams of protein, which I definitely need right now. I'm maintaining 200 pounds, which I haven't been 200 pounds since like I would say 2014. So I'm trying to add another maybe 35 pounds onto my frame. And then from there, I'll be able to like just shred everything off and then be where I want to be and look the way I want to look because. During bulking season, you have to carb up. You have to carb up, and I'm carving up like crazy. So right now, my current weight, 202. I got about, I don't know, 33 more pounds to add, and then I should be good from there. But right now, I'm gonna go home, work on some content, probably go into the city, 
just venture out and do some window shopping and then from there probably go back do more content and then take my ass to sleep soon after Two thousand years later. So the workout is done. I am tired. I am so fucking tired. Like it's crazy. But I do want to address one question that someone asked me on one of my older vlogs, and that was, do I ever plan on doing Dragon Ball forever? And the answer to that is, I don't know. I don't know because I want to do so much more on this channel outside of just Dragon Ball because. For those that have known me for such a long time, I love Dragon Ball, but I also love other things, right? I love games, I love horror, I love vlogging, but unfortunately you can't do that on YouTube. You can't do that as frequently as you want. So what I plan on doing in the future is I plan on introducing more of these kind of vlogs on the channel and hopefully you guys are gonna be um, adjusted to that and, and enjoy the things that I bring because I wanna do so much more than just Dragon Ball, but for the time being, I think yes, I'm gonna continue doing Dragon Ball because I love it, but outside of that, I'm going to slowly start introducing other concepts and I guess videos outside of Dragon Ball just to get some feedback and see where some of you guys stand. One eternity later. Man, I don't even know why I'm out here. I'm not even properly dressed. I have like a sweater and like a very thin jacket underneath, but I wanted to talk to you guys about Copa, right? Because a lot of people seem to be extremely nervous and uh, for those that are content creators they don't know what to do and um, it's a scary thing I for one am a little nervous because I don't know where the fine line falls between you know content that's kids friendly or content that's made for adults because YouTube is being very vague in their approach and having to label certain things but I'm just here like what the fuck is going on because I, I have no idea what the overall direction is going to be because once January 1st comes around it's going to be scary for a lot of people but for me I'm hoping for the best because I have no idea what's going to happen I feel like my content isn't really made for children 13 and under I'm not here singing fucking ABCs and stuff so I don't really have to worry about that but in terms of how I feel about it it's stupid because YouTube messed up on their end and now everyone's paying the price. I just feel like going forward now I have the freedom to like swear and just be me versus having handcuffs placed on me because I feel like a lot of creators had handcuffs placed on them ever since the whole advertiser friendly stuff came about. We all have to be singing our kumbayas and stuff just to get by but I don't know it's a uh, it's a very interesting situation so as long as I have my health so as long as you know everything's good at home I think I'll be all right um, in terms of the channel I don't think anything's gonna happen I think I'm gonna be in the okay as well as many other people but uh, I would highly encourage you guys to support your favorite creator um, by voicing your opinion by signing the petition that um, kind of voices your concern on the FTC regulation so for me I don't know I mean I think I'm good uh, if I'm not then I guess that's the end of the road. Um, again, I think that life in and of itself opens up many doors as some begin to close. I don't think this is the end. Um, I think it is a very scary concept to look at, but I think in the long run, uh, we'll be all right. So while I'm making my way to the gym, I'm gonna freeze, I'm gonna freeze out here. So I wanna say guys, thank you all so much for watching. If of course you guys are new, hit that subscribe button, all that fucking shit, you guys already know the deal. Uh, I'm gonna freeze out here if I don't get to the gym fast enough because it's gotta be at least like 25 out. And again, 
I'm not even properly dressed. So I'm gonna be discussing more or less of all of these things that are happening on YouTube, I think, uh, on my next vlog. So that's gonna be next month because I'm doing these monthly. But again, thank you all so much for your time. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And with that being said, I'll see you all later. Ah!